Now I'm going to be showing you how to make fried dumpling. It's absolutely dead on simple. But I don't know how people get it wrong, but this is why I'm doing this video. So everyone can get it right now. I'm going to use just 500 grams of um, self-raising flour. This is, you can get this everywhere. Every, every, everywhere. 500 grams of flour. This already have baking powder in it. So literally you just need to just add salt and water to this. All you need just now is just a little bit of salt to taste. So you, you don't, as I say, you don't have to measure stuff like this because back in the Caribbean we don't measure stuff. Literally, we just use your fingers. Look, sprinkle, that's enough. That's how, you, that's how we measure. That's how my grandmother teach me how to measure. And this, this work in my restaurant up to now. Um, just a little bit of water, you're just gonna knead this in, just like how they make pasta. But you're gonna make this into a very, very tight, just a dough. Not very, very tight, just, just a normal dough. Just plain, plain room temperature water. You just mix this in. I'm gonna show you guys. Normally I would just do just uh, just a couple to show you how it's done, but I'm going I just wanna show you what amount of food you're gonna get from 500 grams of flour and just a little bit of salt. So I'm gonna take time out to make all of this. And you're gonna see how much people this can feed. Just 500 grams. This is about like can you remember how much? About 50 something P. Do you see how much people this can feed in just like that? Just turn this down a bit. Bit, not, not too high heat, very low heat. Remember, this is just 500 gram flour and a little bit of salt, a little bit of olive oil, feeding a whole family. And you know, you don't have to make them fast like me, just take your time. You know, I've been doing this since I was a little baby, so. Very, 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 very easy. This, this video is designed to teach you how to save money. Literally. And after you get all of this dumpling in, all you need is just, just a, a big, nice, juicy plant in the slice to go with this and some ackee. I'm gonna show you to serve this up nicely. Really cool stuff, man. This is what we used to eat for breakfast when we go to school. You see them sprinters in Jamaica? You ever wonder why no one can catch them? <laughs> this is breakfast, man. Breakfast is his best. No offense, guys. <laughs> so as you can see, 500 gram flour. You can say, all right, two to a portion. Look at me in the portion. Two, all right, say maximum three if it's a big heater. Just imagine. How many people this can feed? Five or just like, just 50 something P, I think. I can't remember how much this flour cost. But just look how much dumpling you get from this. All right. See much portion we get from this 500 gram one day. Nice. Just give them a little turnover now. You can see they start to set properly. After this, no one can say they don't know how to make dumpling. It's very, very, very simple. You know, so but some people complicated. They had milk, they had this, they had all kind of stuff. But the Caribbean is about simple cooking. Simply you can make it the more flavor you get. Just look at that. Easy. Very easy. You can even stick a few. It's gonna go on the top meanwhile it's soaking in this one. So this is literally just slow cooking it in oil. I just want you to see how many. I just want you to see just 500 grams in the pot amount of food you can get from just like 50p. And you leave this just to cook for a while, maybe about maximum five minutes. 
supposed to be all ready by five minutes. And it's very simple. So you come home from you, you come home from work and you fancy just quick stuff, you just because the key I just show you just like uh, three minutes, three to five minutes. This is the next three to five minutes. Ten minutes maximum, you know? And it's ready. Right. Now the dumpling is already is ready now. So I'm gonna be just like I'm gonna take them out, take all of them out, and I'm gonna show you from 500 gram flour the more you food you get. As you can see they all raise up and the raising agent will bring it right up to perfection. And remember don't do this with your hand please guys just see if you can just use a fork because you know I've been doing this since I was a child I don't get burned anymore so it's not wise to do this. Right. This is five gram flour. Let me put it in a plate so you can see it properly. This is just over 50p food. And remember, it's only salt and water. Salt, water, and flour. How many people you can feed with this? Right. One more thing you could put with this. This is plantain. It's um, everyone know plantain. It's like a banana, but it's like um, the father of a banana. Who do, you, who do you say that? Okay. Right. Just everyone. A lot of people ask me about planting all the time and they like that so many people like planting all you have to do is peel it like this and just slice it you can either slice it in your hand or slice it on a cutting board just slice it just like that but that's like this is not good you just fry this off just like just in the oil just like that It's only take a minute or two to do. Just fry it until it get yellow on the side. When you see yellow and it start to get this brownish look, that means it's ready. You just turn it over and fry the other side. And meanwhile, this is frying. What I'm gonna do is get my hockey out. I'll, I'll just finish my hockey. I can show you how to plate this up nicely. So that's the hacky. 
really. This is the fried dumpling I just did. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna take this dumpling off. Very nicely, very, very nicely done. Put it on one side. And you know, in the Caribbean restaurant, you always order Aki saltfish. Aki and saltfish fried dumpling and plantain. Yeah, if you want to do it properly, this is how you're supposed to be doing it. And when you do it like this, you can present this to anyone. Anyone come to your house, you can give them this. You get like a dumpling like this. You feel it nice, black one. Present it properly. And the plantain. So there we go. Let's put this here. I'm going to put this here. Here. Let's keep it really, really, really simple. And the next thing we can do for garnish is these tomatoes, these little vine tomatoes. People say I like using vine tomatoes, but they're really right about it. If you want to. Alright, let me explain these tomatoes to you more. This, this is like, um, say the fish is too salt. Say this starfish is really, really too salt. If you had this tomato, it, it neutralizes salt. So, and, and it's also a nice garnish. And it's like if the flavor is too high. This is basically, this will just cut it right down for you. And all you have to do is just put it in a salad. Just blanch it until it burns. That's it, that's it. Just blanch it until it burns. And that's a deep fried tomato. Really, 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 really simple. And you use this as a garnish. And this is also good for you, it's good for presentation. Everything just, you know, this is ready. And remember, don't use your hand. I'm like really, really, really. I've been doing this for ages. Look how nice it is and look how simple. 